I want to make it look like a real DTM race car, like uh, like a touring car. It is four o'clock in the morning. I just woke up. <laughs> I am driving to Columbus because through some strange series of events, Laura agreed to let me buy another car. Pick up a U-Haul trailer and then go pick up this car and then drive back. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty long-term project, but I think it'll be cool. And I haven't really figured out exactly what I wanna do yet, but I think this will be a good platform to start with. So uh, I feel like I'm talking funny because I just woke up and whatever, so I'm gonna drive. It's light out now and I'm like, I think I'm by Flint or I just saw on that sign. So it's 6.30 in the morning, I've been driving like two hours and I'm getting more and more excited. I think I know what my plan is going to be. I think I want to get the car running first, and by I, I mean have somebody do it. So the guy I'm buying it from said that they had it running. He replaced a part, he said a Chinese part, and he thinks that that just failed again. And the original part is like 500 bucks. So he is like, I bought this car for my kid. I don't want to mess with it. I already bought a different replacement for it. I just want to be done with it. I came up on Ohio really quick. I didn't even notice it. I haven't had to stop for gas yet or for anything, so I made it all the way from Traverse City to Ohio, just straight shot. It's amazing driving downstate. There's so many people on ways, like like all those little dots are all people. When you use it in Traverse City or in Northern Michigan, you might like see one dot a day. Because that's the big city life for you. All right, it's like, 9.30 in the morning and my first gas stop. I just drove way past the pump because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> this day just keeps getting better. Uh, number one, I feel like I stole this car for what I got it for. He just sent me this video and I'm so stoked. So the car, he got it to run this morning. Check this out. I thought I was buying a non-running car. The guy I'm buying it from said he went in it, hit the key, said it's idling high, but it started right up. I just realized I don't have any money with me to pay for this thing. It's funny, that was like the last thing on my mind. I was like, gotta get a trailer, gotta get down here. I got a come along to winch the car on. I got a pin for the hitch. I brought three different receivers in case the balls were different sizes. Like prepared for everything except for paying for the car. <laughs> Every time I have a trailer, I have to do a drive through I was able to get the money so I can actually pay for the car, which will facilitate bringing it home. Oh, there she is. This thing is beautiful. This guy's got like a whole collection of them. He has a Cosworth also, which is super cool. Yeah, I'm stoked. I can't wait to see this thing. Yeah, real high. <laughs> the car is so much nicer than I expected. It runs, it idles really high like he said. I feel like I got a great deal on this thing. It's uh... So, so my actual plan, I've been thinking about this a lot and I couldn't decide like, do I want to do like a full build engine swap and roll cage and everything like right out of the gates and make this thing crazy? No, because if I do that, it's going to take 50 years to finish and I'm never going to do anything with it. It's just going to be a pile of parts laying around forever. I decided this on the way down. I'm going to take the car to a mechanic, have that all gone through just to see if it's like relatively drivable. Like I don't care, I'm not gonna race it or anything like that. Get in it, hit the key, it idles normal, it drives good, I can take it to a car show if I want to. First step, once I have it to that point, I'm gonna lower it as low as I possibly can, 17 inch wheels and R888 like race tires. Then I'm gonna have the whole car wrapped in some crazy DTM inspired because I think it'll look amazing to just take a totally stock car, but that looks like a race car out and drive around. Eventually, once I figure out, I'm almost certain I know what engine I put in it, but once I confirm that and find one, maybe like down the road, we'll be to do like a full on engine swap. Uh, and I have a pretty 
pretty good idea of what engine I want to put in it, but it'll be a massive undertaking and I just don't want to do that. Like, I want to enjoy a car now. And it just dawned on me that I have not introduced the Escalade. I'll do that with both these cars. All right, so first, this is 2018 Escalade. Uh, it does have the flip up running board. I bought this to replace the Denali that Laura uh, was in the accident with. And in reality, I bought this to replace a different Denali. It smelled like cigarettes, so the dealer bought it back. Lisa's awesome, by the way, at Bill Marsh price point. Matches, I got a new plate uh, that I'm gonna order for it, because obviously GMC doesn't match with the Cadillac, but um, yeah. So anyway, this is, I think it's a 92. It's a Mercedes 190E, and basically it's just a bone stock car, but I want to make it look like a real DTM race car, like uh, like a touring car. So this will be the perfect platform for it. I'm going to wrap it, lower it really low, put some really aggressive tires on it. I think it's going to come out pretty awesome. So that's my plan. I'm willing to say there's a chance I might have made a slight miscalculation. Um, and that miscalculation was that I'm going through like Metro Detroit at exactly rush hour. So it's 4.45. I've already added like 40 minutes to my time from just sitting in traffic. Um, yeah, this is the worst. This is an unexpected and unappreciated turn. It's hailing right now. Literal hail pelting my new 1992 Mercedes. It's act it doesn't seem that bad. I should never have been like, oh, I'm making great time or whatever I said in those video in those clips earlier, <laughs> because I got stuck in traffic basically for like almost two hours. I mean, it actually sounds like it's running pretty smoothly now. It does definitely have an exhaust leak. It's got a bit of a miss or something, but the 90s. Technology stuff is awesome. Got a cassette deck. Oh man, cup holders. All sorts of stuff. I didn't park it like this just for the photo or whatever, but that's a pretty cool shot. It's been a long day. I can't wait to go home and go to bed, but yeah, overall, this thing's gonna be great.